Hi, this is Carol and welcome to my studio. The name of this painting is Colorful Geometric Abstract. It's a 30 inch by 30 inch canvas. I started off painting on the canvas with a very thick coat of acrylic gel and then I took the wrapper from the canvas and I crunched it up and matted it down on the wet glaze pulled it up and let it dry overnight before I started my drawing. And here you'll see me applying with a black felt marker my geometric lines that I'm putting on the canvas. I really don't have a particular design in mind, but I do want to have a bunch of triangles. My style of painting is using many layers of various colors of the paint. My first color of paint that I use is the Brilliant Magenta. I'm going to use this in quite a number of areas as the base coat. And I will be putting on the magenta even darker as I go on. Okay, I've got some titanium white going over the magenta. And here I'm applying a little bit darker version of the paint. I did put some yellow here and there for the background, but I will be going over that with other layers of different paints. I want that area toned down a little bit. And as you can see in this painting, I start using the palette knife fairly early in my application of the paint. Okay, that's burnt sienna going in. Now that color is the cobalt blue with some dark purple mixed in. And then I top it off with a little bit of titanium white in the center of the square. I want to add in a few more designs to this painting to make it a little bit more interesting. I'm basically just going to be highlighting those individual designs that I put in with the felt tip marker. And always when I'm painting, I am thinking of my color harmony, the balance of the colors. The compatibility of the colors and also how would I use this painting for decorating? To me this painting is going to be definitely an accent piece on the wall. When someone walks in their eye will go to it. Also notice that I use the titanium white with the palette knife and I do tone down a lot of the color. 
even though I want this painting to be bright, I also want it to have a very mellow, soft look. And that white glaze helps an awful lot to bring all the colors together. And at the same time, I'm going to use the palette knife for the majority of the other colors that I'll be putting on this canvas. And remember, it's the canvas itself has that rough texture because I use that wrap with the glaze in the very beginning of my preparation for the canvas. I'm able to apply the paint more or less scratching the paint on with the palette knife. That's going to give the texture a more bold look. And you'll see that texture with the different colors at the end of the painting throughout the whole painting. Here I begin to use a fine tip brush and a liquid carbon black paint drawing on my lines for some extra design work. I'm basically trying to apply these lines in a balance here and there on the canvas. Just something that the viewer can stand back and, and look for in the painting. This is a photo of the painting in daylight. And the next one will be a photo of the painting on the wall under spotlight. Thank you so much again for being here watching me paint. Please subscribe, hit that button at the end of this video, and now you're looking at close-ups of the painting.